and welcome back to another episode of Neighbours. No, home and away. No, I lied. It's with me, Wayno. Yay! So, welcome back to another episode of. Well, actually, what episode number is this? 96 of Modern Skyblock 2. So, last. Well, actually, it was this morning when I recorded when I had literally no sleep. Something woke me up, and I don't know what it was, but I had to go out for the whole entire day with my son and had some fun. So, took him there, took him here. I'm not going to tell you what we did, but, you know, father son stuff, you know. So, anyway, um, I actually can't remember what I did this morning. I know it was to do something with bees. Um, what was it? Oh, that's right, it was just a boring episode. So, we started some bees, right? And it's goddamn raining. Oh, actually, no. That, uh,. It produced some mystical stock, but it's raining anyway. So, I was thinking of getting a rain shield and making one of them and putting it up. Because, unfortunately, we need to make some bees. So, what were we missing? That's right, we were missing apparently a lot of stuff. Seriously? Look, the blaze rod's right there. Why isn't it? Okay, I don't know why, but sure, why not? And the ranger stops. Typical. So we'll grab three of you bad boys. And we'll put them... Oh no, there we go. There's some weird re uh, issue currently with this. So... Now I want this to protect the beast. I don't really care about the rest of the base. I have no clue where to even put this thing. Never used one in my entire life. So, uh, out of the way. There. It just sits there. Okay. You, you, you just sit there. Anyway, there we go. We have a rain shield. I want to protect the bees because we need to work on bees. Yes, bees. But I'll probably only do bees... Um, uh, while they're producing in that, and yeah, uh, well, I'm oh, sorry, I'll restart that. I'll probably do bees while we're actually waiting, well, not waiting for them to die off. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, we need some ducks, quacks. Okay, so I really should clean out all this old crappy stuff. I know I need more item ducks, which requires glowstone. Uh, see, I should really automate this. Oh, there is glowstone in there. And we get it all working with the correct parameters. Um, now, we need to actually make a lava generator. There's one here, but that requires this stuff. Never actually played with industrial foraging. It reminds me of Minecraft Reloaded, I think it was called. Well, there's one here. Lava Factory Controller. I wonder what that is. Uh, the Lava Factory can produce buckets, uh, blocks of lava given lots of power CF per block. The block above it. Oops. The block above it has to be surrounded with four casing blocks, otherwise it won't be able to produce lava. Right clicking on the lava factory will show you if it's able to produce lava in its current state. Lava for fact. Okay. So, they're the casings. You get 32 of those bad boys. And then you get a lava generator. Okay, I can button, cobblestone, snow, and grey dye, and it will produce an anori block, okay, which that, sh that should be fine, so if I would get one of them and produce with lots of power, see, problem is, is I 
need to work out a way to constantly produce. This thing doesn't actually produce enough power. It's not it. So this is 720. So there's there's only what 4,000 power there. So which this side it's probably because of this kicked on. So with all the stuff that I'm currently using, it's well that's using 32.0. So that's quite a bit. So basically this setup over here was a waste of time, I would say. Um, it's producing a small amount of power instead of a massive amount that I was hoping to actually have. But, oh well. So, we need to have a better sustainability in power because it is going through some of them. Well, that's just, that's just not cool, Joe. And we are out of actual coal for mana. So, I really should automate this. As much fun as it is to come over here and get a heap of wood, I should really just attach it to the system and have a dedicated smeltery for it. So, and I've still got one in my hand. Uh, how are my impulse ducks going? So I got down to 10. So that's not too bad. Well, basically, I want to use it for this over here to pull in and pipe out. See the extra drone. And then we have. Oh, we actually finally got a honeycomb. So let's just do this. And I'll use. I wonder if there is actually a bee keeping thing. Stores all its bees, if I can remember. Hmm. Okay, let's see. So here's all the bee stuff. There we go. The April. Oh. Okay, so that will be a while before we get that. So I guess I'll just use this still. So, but I really need to get to the infernal. But I probably could push off some more of that and more of that. And that's right, I was doing the farm, wasn't I? Did I? Yeah. And I needed more dirt. That's what I was waiting for as well. All these stuff and things and. Uh, Going away for a day and just doing normal life required things is just is good but bad. You forget what you're doing on Minecraft. And I like Minecraft. And I need to build more um, teleporters around. Just always keep forgetting about them. And rerunning all power and getting a better flight system. The day just goes on and on and on. Okay, so how many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need one more row and I need three more worms. Now, I know I have the awesome hoe which takes forever. Um, doesn't look like the... Thing is fully regrown. Interesting. That is beating the crap out of the one worm. My worm, not yours. It was funny actually the other day. Um, I was at my mum and dad's house, and we were dealing with the chooks at mum and dad's house, and it, some are friendly and some aren't. So. The, chick, the the chooks would come up and like be near you thinking they'll get fed. And I'm sitting there looking at some worms in the ground. And I'm like, there's worms there, eat them. And I'm like, oh, should I collect them and make the ground fertile so I can plant? And then it's like, I'm not in Minecraft. I can't do that. And then I poke the worms. And then the 
Oh, hello. I'm getting a feedback in my headset. Give me a tick. Okay, I'm getting a feedback in the headset, so I'm going to cut this episode short and record up record it after I come back when I have fixed it. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's very loud and it is very annoying. So, sorry about this for the short episode, but it is hurting my ears.